Ryan Kage, aka Kuma the Bear. We're on the way to Violent J's house for the ICP talk show. Should be a really good time. ICP's doing it live on Twitch, ICP Network. Yeah, it should be a great time. It's always fun to kick it with the boys. Um, much love to the guys. Let's let's go check out the set. here at Violent J's personal studio, the haunted cabin in the woods. We just made it here. This is a beautiful studio as you can see. Cut vocals here, mix records here. Everything you hear from ICP is done at the haunted cabin in the woods. We're gonna go inside and take a peek behind the scenes now. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, you just saw the setup. The setup looks intense. Uh, a plus setup, crew's real cool. Doing sound check right now, sounds dope. Uh, looking real forward to getting in there and talking to the boys. Let's get pumped, let's get in there, let's do this. Oh man, we're about to do this. We're live backstage in the snowy winter wonderland. Whoa. You follow me in a minute. Our next guest is um, always been very mysterious in the Juggalo world. People yes. have wondered what he's like. You know, he's always turned us down every time we try to get him to do something like this. But <laughs> he's internationally known to Juggalos worldwide and, and respected. He's been making ICP beats and music. Yeah. Going back to Dark Lotus wow. to I mean, th yeah, the this, early days of ICP. Th this man's... He is woven in with ICP as much as any Mike Clark, as much as anybody that we came up with before him, uh, an integral part of our career because he's done so much, so many, so much music, so many videos. Great personal friend of ours, and we're glad he finally agreed to do this. Roll the footage. For See, over 15 years now, this ninja has walked the seemingly impossible line between fame and mystery. On one hand, He's an incredibly popular producer, DJ, and artist. On the other, a mysterious, puzzling enigma of sorts, known for turning down countless interviews and other media opportunities to bask in the immense adulation of his accomplishments. The ninja is as baffling as he is badass. But why then? Why does he choose to travel the highways blast up and down runways and crisscross the planet, performing before massive mobs of adoring fans, if not for the fame, fortune, and overall freshness of being a star. His answer? Music. His love for music in general is what drives the beat of his heart every minute of every day. And it's that very love that brings him here tonight. Ninjas and Ninjets, please welcome the incredible Kuma. Give it up for yeah. Kuma! Four people are about to meet Kuma. Yeah, it's fucking insane, man. What? Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say to you, brother, I can say, give me an acoustic beat. He'll give you the sweetest acoustic beat you've ever heard in your life. I can say, give me something metal. I need something that sounds like Metallica. Comes through. To some rap beats. No question. There it is. Whatever it is, and he does his own music in multiple ways, Kuma. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Do my brother. That's awesome. Thank you. Good night. See you later. Good night. Good night. And, no, and on top of that, he, he has his own group as well, actively right. right now. Yes. Escape Driver. Yes, sir. Synthwave, rock, all that. Let's yeah, start with Let's start with Let's start with Escape Driver. Shit, oh, with escape driver. Tell yeah. us about the band and uh, who's in it and just define 
the music of Escape Driver? Sure. Well, Escape Driver is a synth wave meets rock group. Uh, my good friend that I met, uh, his name's John Paul Backrick, or JP we call him, and he is a lead vocalist, great guitarist, and we just decided to try something different, make some 80s kind of new wave. Right. That's what's cool. It has that retro feel. When I look at Shukuma, it's true, I always have an urge to kiss you. Oh, well. All right? You just got that face that I'm slightly attracted to. And That's for some reason, when I vision kissing you, I feel a slight euphoria, okay? okay. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. What I was gonna say is Kuma is a peacock of music, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't front. I think I just nailed me. Did I, did I spit? Oh, it's a super ninja right there. Sorry. Hold on. That's it, you, that was, I, I, that was I right there. Right. I wanted it. Amazing. Back. You're like a peacock of music okay. because you, the, it's like a plethora of styles and sounds. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? Do like, you think it's too much? Not even just when you're making beats for ICP or other people. Okay. But like on your own, you got a skate driver. Sure. DJing for 45 Shit, right. yeah, before, yeah, before, before COVID, about? right? What is that about? Yeah, so actually before I started working for you guys and, uh, you know, doing a lot of music for Psychopathic and... Dark Lotus and, you know, the whole... Every uh, faction is psychopathic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very, been very... woven in, like I said. Learned so much. Um, before I did all that stuff, I was doing, um, and I still am, I'm doing, like, Detroit techno and house music. Detroit so, techno? Yeah. Well, now you got to call yeah. it that because techno started in Detroit, right? Yeah. It's there's a certain like, style, man. But now there's so many different technos, you got to call it Detroit techno? It's like the underground version of EDM. You know, it's like what started EDM, yeah. and it started here. And a lot of younger people don't understand, like... That's I love going like back and forth with you about old school house yeah. shit stuff like that. You know man. a lot of stuff about electro. Yeah, you know, and that old started shit. Kind of I know that's what here yeah. through African that's my shit. And yeah. craft work and mm -hmm. you know so African babada I was gonna yeah. say an Egyptian lover but you know so Go like on on. I still do that style and I still press records. In fact. Oh, oh shit. In fact. What's in the hell of her? What's in the I brought uh, I brought you guys some stuff from my label. This is a. Uh, What's uh, this? New record I got called what? Reality Head, and I brought a CD. Well, I'll be a son no of a bitch. Shit. I run two record labels called Beretta Music and Michigander Music. Uh, I know it's a big plug fest, but, you know. Well, uh, hey, why not? And I just want to let everybody know that I brought one for everybody in the studio audience. Yes. Yeah, he is over the fuck out on you. Look under your seats. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. We call it Detroit Just Techno. Not Detroit that. Techno! There you go. Yeah. It's yeah. Detroit EDM. I'm going to sample you, okay? Is yeah. that cool? That's <laughs> so dope, brother. Fuck it. We really don't. No. Detroit Techno! So I got a good sound boy. Woo, now, so now good. these two are for me, right? Yes. You can enjoy his later. Uh, maybe. You're our friend. Aside from all of this, you're a good friend. Yes. We love you, brother. I love you too, Indeed. brother. I love you. Juggalos and Juggalots, Kuma! <laughs> All right, guys, that was a dope interview with the Insane Clown Posse. I really appreciate those guys for bringing me on, talking about my career. It's really uh, humbling. I uh, appreciate Billy Bill here at Psychopathic and Rob Jump Steady. Uh, it's been a great experience. I hope you guys enjoy the interview. I'll see you on Twitch. Keep listening to my music. Keep buying my tracks. Love y'all. Peace.